be teaching you the basic combo number five today. You guys seem to really like these combo videos, so I'm going to make more of them. I always combine three tricks in these videos. So the first one will be the Y2K, the second one will be the Orbit, and the third one will be the Closing for the Basic Twirl. Hopefully you know all three of those, and if you don't, maybe learn those and then come back to this. They're down below in the description and up above. Also, thanks to everyone who's bought my merch so far. I've gotten quite a few sales, and I've heard some pretty good reviews from them. Um, so here's one of the designs I'm wearing right now. And on the back of the shirt, it is like this. I hope you can see it really well. I would love to hear you guys' input, and if you want to buy any designs or have me make any certain designs, then just DM me on Instagram. Okay, so you're going to start off this trick by holding the bite handle, and the bite handle is where, this is the blade, you put your finger here, between the handle and this, you cut yourself. Okay, so you're going to be doing the Y2K first. The Y2K is different from the Zen Rollover, because the Zen Rollover is just flipping the handle like that and use another handle. So you're going to do a vertical Y2K, which is going to look like that. And instead of flipping up like you normally would, you're going to do the vertical Y2K and land like this. Exactly how you normally would land. Y2K is a thumb rollover, like that. And it's kind of like a half to three quarter thumb rollover. Then you're going to have the knife like this. So you're going to have these two fingers be on the knife and your thumb and these two be really loose because you're getting ready to do the orbit. The orbit is basically the Y2K but around your thumb the other way. So instead of going fully vertical like that, I'd suggest you go at a little bit of an angle. So the knife or the handle is hitting a little farther down on your thumb. That's definitely some good advice that I give in my comment section. So I'm doing the Y2K. I'm in this position and I'm, these fingers are going to hover a little bit. Then I'm going to roll the knife around my, my thumb. I'm going to catch the safe handle like that. And I'm going to catch it exactly like this, um, with my four fingers here, my thumb right here. Okay, so after I catch it, I'm going to throw the bite handle right here forward. I'm going to throw it forward, and this is a very vertical trick. So I'm going to take my index finger out, and this is getting ready for the closing of the basic twirl. And I actually have a video where it's five closings, and this is the third closing. So I'm going to be getting my index finger there, my thumb here, and I'm throwing the bite handle backwards like that. And this is where I'm going to pivot. So I'm letting go of these two fingers, and I'm pivoting with my middle finger forward, right? And I'm going to get my thumb and replace my middle finger with it. Okay, so now the knife's all the way down, and now I'm going to get, instead of having it like this, I'm going to pinch like this and come up. So I would practice that last part, which looks like this maybe over and over again, so you get a smooth motion instead of having to go here, pivot, down, stop, move your thumb, and up. Maybe keep, try to get it to this point. So you're doing a Y2K, you're getting these two fingers on, these two fingers a little off, and you're going to throw it as an orbit, and that's like a three-quarter, half to three-quarter turn around, and you're landing like this, right? So where the knife's out to it's pointed right, if you're using your right hand. So then you're going to throw it forward like that. And you're going to get your index finger on top and flip back. And this is where you're going to pivot, pivot your middle finger and replace it with your thumb. And maybe in one swift motion, you come around. So the whole trick is going to look like this. I want to say thank you so much to my Patreons for helping me and supporting me to get all my equipment to make more videos like this. You know, without you guys, I wouldn't really have as much motivation or, you know, funds to do all these videos. Okay, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment below any questions you have, and I'll make sure to answer them. Or you could DM me on Instagram. My Instagram is right here, and I'll answer your questions within two to three weeks.